Hey y'all, it's going everybody. So the new season of Fortnite is out now and it's time to optimize your PC and just get the best performance it can give you in order to get 200 plus FPS in Fortnite season 8. So with this one, I'm going to show you guys some FPS tips and tricks which can potentially help you to get 200 plus FPS in the new season. All you have to do is just follow all the steps and this is for high, low as well as mid spec PCs. So yeah, just don't forget to subscribe and like and now let's begin. Right, so let's just start off with the in-game settings and I've done it like a million times so I'm not gonna go too much into it. So first things first, you need to turn, um, I mean set rendering mode to performance mode alpha and just make sure the meshes are set on low if you want to get the maximum amount of FPS boost and then you can um, turn these settings on and off. It's up to you, just make sure the texture are low and 3D resolution you can um, um, change it according to your PC for example if you play the game on Intel HD graphics then make sure it's on around 50 or wherever you get the amount of FPS you're happy with cause the lower you go um, the more FPS you'll be getting that's kind of obvious and if you have fine PC then you can always go with 100% um, doesn't matter so yeah that's pretty much it the only main settings here is to turn on rendering mode as performance alpha and make sure the meshes are on low then go to settings and scroll down till you see record replays and make sure you turn it off cause they take some performance and can reduce fps um, as it's written right here and then you can also turn off creative um, replays if you want to get more fps in creative although that's not usually a problem so yeah and the next thing would be to going stretch resolution all right so one thing you guys need to understand is that turning on performance mode alpha and on top of that using stretch resolution can alone give you a fps boost of 60 plus which means the amount of fps you're getting right now you can get 60 more and if you guys don't believe me then you can watch one of my videos where i use performance mode as well as stretch resolution and also if you're not sure which resolution you should go with then you can always watch one of my stretch resolution compilation videos which are linked down below so yeah just make sure you do these two steps and and after this it's time to optimize our PC okay so let's just start off by clearing some storage in our PC so for that just simply go to your run and I mean search bar and type in run and from here go to percent temp percent and then click on ok and from here just delete all the files that you can see and um, these are all junk files and just some cache that you don't need so just go ahead and delete um, delete this and for some of it um, it will say that it can't delete because the files are open somewhere you can just simply skip the steps um, skip those and just um, so these are the files it won't let me delete as you can see so I'll just um, let them be and after this go to your settings and from here go to system and then from system go to story and from here as you can see there are some temporary files um, which will clean later but first just go to configure storage sense and from here scroll down till you see free up space now and just uh, make sure you click on clean now so this will clean all the cache or some junk files that you don't require so yeah it could take some time depending on your system for me it just took like one minute um, so as you can see it says we couldn't free up space um, any uh, there's no free space left that's cause I just cleaned up my system and for you if you haven't cleaned your system in a while then it could um, clean up a lot free space for you and after this go to temporary files and it will just scan some files that you don't require as you can see from downloads um, I won't um, clean the download folders don't download folder cause um, you might have some still something important in it that you want to use so but the recycle bin just make sure you check on it and as you can see all these files that you don't require um, temporary internet files and all make sure you clear all these files and then um, from here just go to remove files and there you go we have cleaned up some more space and now let's just see what else we can do um, for the second thing just simply go to command prompt and after this um, these are some commands um, which you want to put it um, in the command prompt so these will be in the description so make sure you copy them from here and first just let's just go with this one just copy it paste it I mean this won't do anything for um, optimization in particular but um, it will just um, delete all the files or maybe fix some um, ping issues if you're having and then after put after this put the second command which is sfc scan now and 
um, so okay so in order to run this command you need to run the command prompt as administrator so for that just again type in command prompt and from here run it as administrator and now if you put the same command um, which is this one so yeah just let it do the verification and it could take some time so now it's done as and as you can see it says that it found some curb file and it has repaired them so this helps um, you to optimize the PC a little and after this comes the final command which is this one so this um, one thing you need to know if you are on laptop I won't recommend you should use this command but if it's a high-end laptop then you should definitely go with this but if it's a low spec laptop then don't put this command and also if you're on PC then always put this command no matter what what this does it that it automatically set your PC for ultimate performance and as you can see as soon as I put my PC um, it put it on uh, it automatically put it on ultimate performance and for laptop it could be a problem since it um, runs on battery and requires charging and this takes up a lot of a um, um, lot of that so yeah make sure you um, do it on the laptop if it's high spec and for PC users just go ahead and do this command without thinking about it and after this go to control panel I mean PC settings again and from here go to apps and then go to startup and as you guys know just make sure you turn all the apps that you don't require when your PC boots up so for example I don't want Google Drive to start as soon as my PC start cause they run in the background and takes up a lot of CPU usage which causes the FPS to um, which causes low FPS in games so yeah make sure you don't um, do that but make sure you have um, the, some um, device I mean apps which you require for example this is my audio driver so I need them um, when the PC starts so I'll just keep them on and yeah these are I've turned on and rest of these as you can see I've turned off so make sure you do the same things and then also go to task manager and from here go to startup and as you can see there's a lot of lot more application um, here and again you can disable the ones that you don't require on startup and I have done that already for myself um, in order to get the best performance and trust me I really do and it really helps me with the FPS and after this go to NVIDIA control panel from here go to um, manage 3d settings and just make sure you copy all these settings um, these are by far the best and really works for me and it could do the same thing for you so yeah just pause the video and just make sure you copy it um, everything and make sure everything is same so for example texture filtering quality it should be on high performance power management mode it should be prefer maximum performance and just yeah copy all these alright so this was your fortnite season 8 fps boost video hope that it helped you if you have anything to ask then feel free to do so in the comment section below i'll reply as soon as i can and thanks for watching Life's a competition, so if I'm going to play, then I'm gonna play to win it. I refuse to sit and rot at a desk all day unless I have a passion I'm working towards, okay? I'd rather be dead on the outside than inside. A bullet to the head than 25 to life in a cubicle alone. Just trying to get by, building someone else's dream instead of building mine. If you're hearing me, 